College dorms are terrible. I'd rather sleep on the sidewalk than be in the living conditions these places put the students through. My college is just horrible. I could go on about this for a while, but on campus, there was one dorm that was actually livable, and that's the honors dorm. I won't lie, my high school performance was not good, but during my freshman year of college, I got put into the honors dorm for weird COVID reasons, probably, but I didn't complain. I didn't choose to be born God's favorite. This was the first time I had full independence too. I mean, everyone did. This is just what you do. You smoke in the college dorm. Even the honors kids were doing it. It's crazy. So it's one of the first months of college and I'm at this little get together at some other dude's dorm. I don't know who was there. I hardly remember these people, but there was one guy that's important and that's my main man, Adam. We were smoking, drinking, doing all that, but there was hardly anything happening. It was like a seven person get together, just watching two guys play Call of duty so adam and i are like this is ass we got to get out of here and make something happen so the two of us leave the function and the thing about this dude's place is it's on a different floor of the building than we lived on the floor of the dorms that houses the dorm gym for covid reasons this gym was locked and closed so no one could use it but we were in the honors dorms we thought we could use our bright little heads to figure out a way in there were two doors into the gym and we noticed a difference between the two Two. The part of the door with the latch had a little half inch opening on one door while the other door had no space to work with. So we started trying different ways to open this door. One person would be on it while the other would look out. You already know, these Andres kids, they would have narked if they had seen us. So we were on our toes. We were trying different ways to push this latch down so we could just open the door and get a little pump. We tried to push it down with our fingers. We tried the good old credit card trick, but nothing worked. Then Adam comes up with this genius idea. Idea. He takes out one of the laces from his shoe, throws one end around the latch, and basically has a little lasso around this thing. He pulls on it, and it slides the latch down for a second before it goes back up. So we do it again, but as we pull the shoelace, we twist the knob and pull the door at the same time, and it opens. This moment was my peak. I don't think I've ever felt so accomplished and smart since. And I wasn't even the one who came up with the idea. So we get into this little dorm gym, and it feels so unreal. We're all giddy running around the place. The scary thing though is that the automated lights turned on as we walked in there, but we thought we'd be fine as long as people didn't see us through the door. Before we start using the gym, we run back to my dorm and we come back with a paper towel and some tape. We fold up the paper towel so it's thick enough to be used as a door stopper and we put some tape around it to keep it there. So we're in the gym getting the pump of a lifetime. You could say we were too high in the gym. Shot out to myself but after about 10 minutes we start to hear the door open there isn't supposed to be anyone able to get into this place i mean the doors were locked and as the door opens a janitor steps in for some reason i don't know why he would clean this place i mean no one's been in here all semester but a janitor just decides to walk in at this moment the three of us lock eye contact for a second and he's like how'd you guys get in here oh you know it was just unlocked man yeah we saw the lights on and we just thought it must have opened up he told us to get out <laughs> but i won't lie i feel like we had a pretty convincing case on our side looking back on it. In the moment though, we didn't feel so confident. It may have been the weed talking, but we felt so paranoid that they would check the cameras or something and see us. Nothing ended up happening of it, and the little paper towel door stopper was still there, so the two of us essentially had created our own personal gym to use any time for the rest of the school year. Okay, that's the story. Bye!